Welcome to Aurora, the incubator of World 2.0. My name's Jay Skell, and we've been expecting you. You've been invited Fuck here me. to innovate. All right, guys, Aries here. Today we're going to discuss Ghost Recon Breakpoint. This game released about six months ago to some really bad reviews, and today we're going to discuss whether I'm going to autosave your wallet from this purchase. Now if you would please, before we get started, hit the subscribe button and the like button down below. Make sure to turn on the little bell notification. That is going to continue to greatly help me out and grow this channel for you guys. Now without further ado, let's get into the content. Alright folks, today like I said we're going to discuss Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint. This game did release late last year, I believe somewhere in October, and it released to really poor reviews. The predecessor in this game's franchise was Ghost Recon Wildlands, and that game, in my opinion, was one of the best Tom Clancy's games I have ever played. Me and my buddies loved running around the Bolivian jungle, flying helicopters, shooting sniper rifles, and, and taking over enemy bases. Now, that might not have been everybody's taste, but it was a really good time. And in my opinion, some of the feedback given on Breakpoint last year was valid. Some of people's top concerns were microtransactions, poor shooting mechanics, a lot of in-game bugs, including game-ending ones, as well as a host of other issues from the development. People believe this game was rushed out, and though I didn't play it back then, I can't say based on what I've seen that I don't agree. That being said, little TLDR, I absolutely love Breakpoint. In its current state, I just picked it up last week, Ubisoft had thrown it on a spring sale, and I think that sale still may be going on for another few days. So my recommendation, if you like shooters, you like open worlds, and you like RPG mechanics, definitely check this out. If you do, leave me a comment down below, let me know what your Ubisoft friend ID is, and we'll gladly play together. Now for some of the things that I like about the game, and as always, I do have some cons. Okay, first up, the customization. When you first launch the game, you're given generic choices, very plain Jane stuff here, male, female, hair color, eye color, skin tone, character that you're playing as, all basic things. The hair color is very limited in options, and most of these beginning choices really feel limited, but I promise you the customization does expand greatly from there. From that beginning customization options, once you get into the actual game, you have plenty more hairstyles, eye colors, tattoo options, facial hair, face paints, not to mention the part that I enjoy, being able to constantly customize what your character actually looks like as far as the gear he's wearing. From his vest, to his pants, to his gloves, shirts, shoes, hats, face masks, what type of knife he has in his hand, everything is customizable as far as the look, and it doesn't affect your actual stats in the game. On top of the actual look, every piece, for the most part, with the exception of some legendaries, you can customize the colors on as well. So if you like a certain texture on pants, but you want it to be black or red or any other color, then feel free to do so. The game allows you to fully customize your character and tailor your individual soldier to be unique to you. The overall classes or characters that you pick from affects things like your voice and dialogue options. Short of that, there's no real big impact in selecting a male versus a female. So one of the things I like about this game is it's not just get shot and you have to heal over time or heal up. They actually have injuries in the game. And I think the injuries are great. The more damage you take, you can get minor, moderate, or severe injuries. As you continue to get more severe of injuries, you might not be able to hold a two-handed weapon like a giant sniper rifle, for instance. You might be stuck only carrying your pistol until you treat your wounds. There's varying degrees of difficulty in the game and you're allowed to scale that up and down at any point you choose. The game functions very similar, in my opinion, to Wildlands. Run around, you can either go loud or sneaky into a base. Obviously going the stealth approach, though, does lead to less enemies on screen and less reinforcements being called. I find the AI to be a little clunky at times, and I do find, I do find some of the shooting to be a, a tad off, especially when you're dealing with a sniper rifle. When you're taking a shot from 300 meters away, you would expect there to be some bullet drop off, and it appears on visuals that there is. However, if you put your reticule right over the person's head, even at 300 meters away, 
it does take the head off. Even though it looks like the bullet drops off a significant amount over the distance, that appears to only be a visual effect. Now, some other things I like about the game. Obviously, you guys all know I'm a big fan of RPGs and loot. Loot is my favorite thing. I love getting loot, leveling up, getting better loot, exotics, and, and whatnot. Well, Breakpoint has you covered there. It has six different classes and a big skill tree that you can unlock over time as you level up and or level up your different skills in your classes. So they have assault classes and panther and engineer. All these classes have different special moves and function differently, as well as different requirements to meet to level each class up. Classes are super fun, nice to switch between. Personally, I started as a sharpshooter because it had high penetration bullets and I am a sniper in most games like this. But I quickly found later in the game, I've been switching more to field medic because you do get a drone that allows you to revive dead teammates without having to physically go and touch them. The skill tree has plenty of little nice tools, bonuses, and little toys to play around with, as well as some really important passive upgrades as you move throughout your campaign and your story. I wanna slip in a little con here. I am not one that's super engaged in this story. It's structured around these wolves and these drones and this island, and frankly, it's just, to me, it's generic bad guy meets generic people that need saving and they rise up, form a rebellion, and so on. You work with them to slowly return and capture parts of the island back. To me, it's generic shooter-looter kind of story. That's fine. I don't play these games personally for the story. If you are really big into story, this will have little bits for you and it has a lot of extra collectibles and intel that you can read if that's your thing. Another thing I love is there are so many different weapon types, attachments, modifications, upgrades, abilities, plus not to mention the RPG mechanics. So it goes from standard, you know, your, your non-colored inventory to green and blue and purple, yellow, and then there are legendaries or exotics or boss specific loot that will drop as you progress through certain quests in the game. I love that stuff. Think of like The Division mixed with an open world like Grand Theft Auto. Marrying those two game franchises to me is perfect. I love big expansive open worlds where I can jump in a helicopter, go fly away, blow up a couple bases, come back, do some shopping, restock on supplies, and then go out there and do it again. All with my buddies, all in co-op, no lag, no issues. So again, just to give you a little bit of an overview of some of the gear colors and how it kind of looks during your inventory. Here I've displayed some of the colors for you. So again, you got greens, blues, purples, and so on. All the gear keeps ramping up a few points every time stuff drops. So you'll start out obviously in the lower levels and you'll keep getting stuff. You'll go up to 20s and 30s, 40s, 50s. Currently I'm sitting right in the mid 100s. So 120, 123 for things that are dropping. The game does take you all the way up to level 250 with, I believe, a hard cap of 252 is what I've heard. Obviously, I haven't made it there quite yet, so I'm still finding out. But between that, plenty of perks, some legendary weapons, and all these kind of craftables and gear and different little trinkets and toys to play with to approach situations differently every time, I absolutely love it. I cannot get enough of playing this game. Another fun thing me and my buddy like to do is just get in a helicopter, fly around, and lob rockets down on people as they can't attack us too well from the from the floor. Every so often though a drone will fly up or homing missiles depending on a behemoth or something you might be fighting but all in all it is good time and it is truly open world you can really go pretty much anywhere and do almost anything. The game also features a pretty unique prone mechanic so every so often there's these large drones that fly up into the air and not only do you have to take cover but then you have to take prone cover as well. So you lay down fully on the ground, you take whatever surface is nearby, so whether it be mud or snow or dirt, and you, you cover yourself with it so that you become almost invisible to the, the bird above you. If you don't do that long enough, they spot you like happened here, and then they send additional reinforcements, drones, and wolves after you, and it sometimes can be, especially in higher gear levels, a nightmare to get away from. All in all, guys, this game is a lot of fun. I don't want to give away too much. I don't want to spoil too many things. I did say I'd mention some cons, and I did kind of slip some of those in there. So I do find it to be a little buggy at times with the shooting mechanics, especially on sniper rifles. 
When you're on an assault rifle or a light machine gun, you won't notice it as much. But in the sniper, it will sometimes throw you off because you are used to that bullet sag. I have minor things about this game that annoy me and that I wish could be tweaked. But between the plethora of settings to change how you want to play, how difficult or not difficult you want the game to be, the ability to collect gear, kill enemies, replayability, easily play with your friends. But for every one minor little nitpicking thing I have, there is 15 things that I love about this game. I cannot recommend it enough, especially if you can pick it up on sale. I wound up picking up the gold edition for this game, which is normally $99.99. I was able to pick it up for $22.99. I believe it's a fantastic deal. This is definitely worth your $60, so this time, guys, we are definitely going to auto-save your wallet by playing it. All right, guys, that's all the time I have for you today. If you would, one more time, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Don't forget to ring that bell so you know when I post a new video. And I love you guys. I hope you're still being safe and healthy. I will see you guys next time. I'm Aries. Bye!